All right, guys, we've got a pretty interesting tool to take a look at today. Not quite sure how you say it, but it's OIWAC. It's a joystick articulating video scope bore scope. Now, while I unbox this, I'll tell you, I get offers quite often on through the internet to do videos on all kinds of different equipment and tools and and such. And uh, honestly, I turned most of them down. But when they offered, when they emailed me and offered to take a look at this tool, I uh, I couldn't help but say yes because I was pretty interested in it just just for myself. This is a bore scope or video scope, whatever you want to call it, but it's steerable. So let me get this unpacked here. I'll show you what I mean. So you got the bore scope itself. There's a mount here that goes on top for your phone. And then in the, uh, in the top of this folder here, you got several different cord adapters to go from iPhone or Android or or um, older newer USB C or older micro USB. So this one here is an Apple connector. This one here is uh, old micro USB, and this is uh, USB C, which is what I'll be using. And then here is another just USB A to USB C cord in case you want to, you know, run it. In, if you don't want, you don't have to mount your cell phone to the top of this device for viewing. You could just run a longer cord like this over to, say, a tablet or something. You wouldn't have to have the phone directly on the device. Let's get this case out of here. I'll get it hooked up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so there's my cell phone there. I'll uh, put the kickstand out so you don't get a glare there. But this, uh, this device here, it just threads onto the top. And then you unthread this mount, and it opens this jaw up. And my phone's pretty large here, so got to open it quite a ways. So you can see, I don't quite have it centered in there because this cord may not be long enough. So I'm going to slide it to this side just a touch. And then I'll tighten up the thumb screw. I'll take this cord out here. And this cord plugs into here. And this is actually kind of a tight fit on this one, but it goes in real tight. And then we plug the other end into the phone itself. Okay, so it tells you in the instruction manuals which app to go to the app store or the play store or whatever you want to call it to download it's called jcam i believe so once this thing is all plugged in on the on the uh back of the device here is the power button so you got to press and hold that until that comes on and then you click jcam here on at least on my phone anyway and then it pulls up the uh the camera and what's cool about this is this joystick right here steers the end of that camera. And it'll go right it'll go right back onto itself. Nice, tight, it'll go nice, tight bend like that. Now, immediately, first thing I thought of when they offered this tool is, you know, you can find a bore scope that will go into spark plug holes. But wouldn't it be nice to go down into a spark plug hole and then turn right around and look back up at the valves? You know, and so I thought, man, this is, this is something everybody's been waiting for. With this app, you can do, it'll record video onto your phone, or you can take pictures. Now on the front of this device is a button, and that's your shutter button. You hear that little sound effect from my phone. That's your shutter button for taking pictures. If you get this something on, you know, on something you like, you got your trigger finger here, 
just take a picture. And you can also set this, uh, this device here to record video. And another thing I noticed, in fact, I'll record this video and I'll show you. Uh, I'll put the video up on screen itself, but now this is just about an inch away from my arm. It's not the highest overall resolution, but because the camera is designed, the, 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 the depth of field, if you will, is designed for looking at stuff up close, you get a real good detail, a, a real good detail. So if you're looking at, you know, for burnt valves or scored piston walls or something like that, you know, look at each, each little uh, pores of the skin and the pieces of hair are pretty detailed. So that's pretty impressive. What we should do is take this thing out to the uh, out to the shed, and we'll pull a spark plug on an engine, and we'll see if we can't stick this down in there and then turn it around and look back up at the valves and in the combustion chamber of a cylinder head. So let's go to the shed. Okay, so we're out in the shed. This time I'm using the controller here without the cell phone mounted on top. I've got the long cord plugged in right here, and I just got it run over to the phone on the side of the uh, belt guard there. So makes it easier to get in tight spots. Like I said before, you don't have to have the phone mounted to the device. And I've got the spark plug out of this Honda engine that's on my John Deere snowblower. That's a whole nother story. But we'll go down through the spark plug hole. And there you can see, I just barely in the hole and I already got a darn good view of that piston. Very good resolution and detail on that cylinder wall. You can still see the cross hatch. Very nice. I bought this engine new for the snowblower years ago. And now let's try turning around. And look at there. There's the exhaust valve, intake valve. And you can even see right back up through the hole. Man, that's handy. Look around. You can move your thumb. That's pretty handy. Very good view of the inside there. Now, obviously, this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to get carried away trying to get every single view possible because, frankly, it's it's quite hot out here in this shed, and I'm trying to get this shot done quick as I can. But uh, you can see right there gives you a very nice view. Anyways, guys. That's all I have for now. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.